If you are involved with a lease, you may be a landlord, you may be a tenant. You may have learned a few years ago from February of 2010, in fact, that the landlord or the Land and Conveyancing Law Reform Act of 2009 outlawed in new leases upward only rent reviews. Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Terry Gorry Podcast. From February of 2010. However, prior to this, existing leases in existence prior to February of 2010, which contained upward only rent reviews, were still valid and enforceable. And this created a type of a two tier leasing situation where leases entered into prior to February 10 could have an upward only rent review built into them and leases afterwards were prohibited from containing such a clause or such a provision in relation to rent review. Clearly this has an impact on the value of the interest that the landlord holds and indeed the value of the interest that the lessee holds because if the rent can go down then the landlord has a less valuable interest in a property and the tenant has a more valuable interest and vice versa. If it's an upward only rent review and that's an old lease prior to February 2010, then the landlord has a much more valuable interest. This has given rise to, as what I've described at the outset, as a type of two-tier system, a two-tier system of leases. And obviously, as time progresses, there's less and less leases prior to 2010. But there's still a very, very significant number in Ireland. And there's one thing that you need to be careful about. And I've only discovered this recently myself. And that is that if a deed of variation is arrived at, and drawn up between the parties, between a landlord and tenant. Let's just say, for example, that the tenant is in difficulty in terms of paying the rent, and the rent is an old high rent set at a fairly high rate, which would have reflected more buoyant times when the rent was entered into, when the lease was entered into, perhaps even a Celtic Tiger lease. In that situation, the lessee may well come to the landlord at some point thereafter and say, I want to reduce the rent. I'm struggling. Circumstances have changed. I simply can't afford to carry on paying this rent to you. And will you agree to enter into a deed of variation in order to vary the rent? Everything else will stay the same. I have seen situations where the deed of variation provides essentially a limited number of changes and it makes specific reference to the lease having the same terms and conditions, save for the couple that have been changed. But the couple that have been changed are of very, very significant importance because one of the changes that I've seen is where the term of the lease was changed. So the term of the lease was extended by let's say five years, let's say 15 years, let's say 20 years. But it now transpires that there is decided case law that where the term of a lease is extended like that, the old lease is probably deemed to have been surrendered and a new lease comes into being. Why? Because a new lease or new interest in the land has come into being. It's a new interest with a 15 year longer lease or leasehold interest or five year or 20 year or whatever. But the critical significance of that is 
if a new lease has come into being, if the old lease has been deemed to have been surrendered, then the new lease will be created after February of 2010, and therefore an upwards only provision in that lease is prohibited and is against the landlord or the Land and Conveyancing Law Reform Act of 2009. This is a very, very significant development and it is something that a landlord could be very easily taken in by where doing the right thing or what he perceives to be the right thing agrees to a rent reduction, agrees to a change in the term of the lease and then discovers afterwards that in fact what he's agreed to is essentially a surrendering of the old lease which would have an upward only rent review and a granting of a new lease from the date of the deed of variation which would post date February 2010 and which would contain a lease that would be prohibited from containing an upwards only rent review clause and therefore the rent can go sideways or can go up or can indeed fall. Hope you find this video useful as I say it's a fairly specific point it's a fairly obscure point but if you are a landlord or indeed if you're a tenant and you are involved in a lease where it predates 2010, February 2010 and you're struggling or you are finding things difficult and so on then it is possible that you know with some uh, changes on the part of both parties both landlord and tenant with or without their intention it is possible that you would bring about by way of a deed of variation an effective surrender of the old lease, a granting of a new lease and therefore the benefit for the landlord of upward only rent reviews will be out the window. Thanks a lot for listening and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode.